Summer has come and passed The innocent can never last It's cheaper in the third person So uh, somebody better go wake up Billy Joe Armstrong, right? Because it's um, October 1st September is over um, Happy Halloween because you know this whole month is Halloween and all of September frankly should be Halloween as well as far as I'm concerned welcome to another Chippa in the third person video podcast um or not video podcast video journal wow I'm losing my mind um those of you who are patrons of mine have seen the logo drop an announcement of my shooting the shit with Chippa spinoff um I'm gonna let that sizzle for a bit there so if you want to find out more you can get the title of it from the post uh, but the logo and everything is hidden under secrecy um but we're recording some episodes of that soon it's a little bit of a spin-off of shooting the shit um it's gonna be kind of a fun um winky thing um kind of playing off of something that's uh going on right now some discourse on twitter between a couple celebrities it's gonna play into this well so uh uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, the Synapse team, uh, Brendan Foley and his crew, uh, with the Two Cents um, video uh, sort of movie um, book club that they do over there, has unveiled their four or five movies um, for the month of October. The first one, Spider Baby, um, is an old, well, it's being done in memoriam of Sid Haig. It was his first film, I believe. Um, it's a really strange um, exploitation-ish, uh, black and white, spooky romp kind of a film. Um, you can hear my official review. I'll be submitting my 200-word um, um, review of it to the Two Cent Cinema. If you don't follow that or you're interested in being a part, go over to uh, Synapse, um, Synapse Films or Synapse Movies. I forget what they got, or Brendan Foley on Twitter and I uh, try to find the two cents cinema post for their five movies right smack dab in the middle is Mandy <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that you gotta go check that one out Whoa. Um, anyway so what else is going on um, got that going on uh, work is absolute hell but um, you know I'm still going there uh, on the morning commute here um, it's uh, it's fall Fall is awesome. The Topsfield Fair starts this weekend. It's the oldest fair in America. Um, they have giant, giant pumpkins. Um, the insulting clown. Uh, it's right down by the haunted house they do on the Midway. I've been uh, dunking him since I was a teenager. Uh, that guy's a lot of fun. Um, so carnies galore. Smell like cabbage. Small hands, as it were. Um, but no, the Topsfield Fair is a blast. My father-in-law actually works the fairgrounds this year. So he's got some of the inside scoop it's shaping up to be a great one um if you guys are in the area or looking for something to do um if you're you know thinking of coming out to the area for the halloween season salem's already ramping up their haunted happenings um goings on on the weekends i think the haunted houses are either already open or opening this weekend um connor's farm uh, which is a place we held my daughter's fourth birthday party. Runs a kick-ass haunted house in the woods called Hysteria. Um, very much worth getting out there and going to. Um, highly recommend if you're going to come to that to come early. Um, if they offer, you know, fast pass type tickets, I don't know what they're doing. Get them. Um, it's a long ass wait. I will not even try to sugarcoat it. I've worked the door um, as a security before for it. I'm probably going to do the same this year, at least one night. So say hi to me if you come on out. Um, it's amazing. That farm, if you have family and you're coming out to the area, it's this giant farm with a circular area around a pond. They've got um, apple cannons, corn maze, train rides, hay rides, um, big jumpy structures that you can bounce around on, um, pigs and animals to feed. Um, just tons and tons and tons of fun stuff to do on top of the fact that they do the haunted house at night they have like a uh, playoff on paintball that shoots like the big nerf balls that you can run around in and have like a paintball match it's for little kids in like a little apple orchard kind of area really hilarious um so check that out um the top sealed fair again runs for two weeks it starts this weekend so if you're coming out early for halloween um in the salem 
Hobbsfield area, um, please go check that out. Um, you won't be disappointed. Um, so Salem, speaking of why am I saying another town is close to Salem, Salem used to be Salem, Danvers, Beverly, Topsfield, Middleton. Used to be all of that. And um, Salem is now like this tiny, not tiny, but smallish little area. Um, but all like the witch trials and things, they hung the witches in Salem. You can go, they finally found the area. But um, the witch trials themselves took place in Danvers. Um, which was at the time Salem. So you go to that area of Dan versus his old Salem village. So it's definitely worth checking out. Um, got some plans. The, the kids sleeping um, has really affected Sarah and I. Um, locking in and doing some uh, more Creative Geeks episodes that has not gone away. We've got a long laundry list of ones, and particularly some ones we want to do ASAP. Those are usually shorter than the tangents and the talk busters and shooting the shits. So we have a tendency to record two of them in a pop. So you should be seeing some more creating geeks coming up soon. And don't forget um, that other special um, podcast that uh, um, I'll be unveiling soon, I hope. And probably do a, a new patron video. I'm thinking of uh, doing a patron hangout later on in the month and things of that nature. So all that sounds good. So uh, with that, that's all I've really got for today. I'm going to go deal with the personal hell that is the day job. And uh, hope I talk to you guys soon. This has been The Chippa. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.